What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are doing a inline flow meter again. Yeah, we remember when we did it last time, right? Um, and that thermal take one just kind of did not sit well or did not perform well, did not function correctly. Uh, so I just, I kind of wanted to revisit this and just try some different ones and see if I can get one that actually works. Maybe one that's actually usable, that I can actually plug in and actually use. So today we're taking a look at, um, this is, I don't know why, I feel like it was word, like branded differently on their website, but it came in as a, a Bisky one, which I have, I believe in, their, in the past, used their water blocks and stuff. And I've had zero issues with their water blocks and some other various products and whatnot. So it'll be kind of interesting to see if this works. I'm sure this is a knockoff of someone else's product. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe this is actually their own thing. Because I guess, I don't know. I just feel like stuff like this gets copied a lot in the marketplace. Uh, but yeah. So not a whole lot. Cute little clear box. Um, and you just get some foam. Feels like it might be aluminum, kind of looks like it might be aluminum, but might be plastic, can't really tell. But there's a little fitting flow meter in here, and then it's just a Molex power cord. And then, oh god, got this sign here that says, Do you like to do it yourself? If you guys have seen that movie, so this passed a uh, quality control. Thank you. you. Got an instructional manual, so I'm guessing it won't have a whole lot of uh controls and stuff. I wonder if that was maybe a reason why the thermal take wasn't going well. This one has like instructions with it. And these instructions have like a directional uh, fan or a, what do you call it? A windmill? Water mill? I don't know. So it's got a, like an actual directional type thing going on with it. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's partially why the thermal take isn't running right. It wasn't installed correctly. I think it's more than just that. But uh, looks like we got this thing installed right on the money. So we're going to go ahead and set this up for failure. Oh. So this should be the in way and this should be the out way. So how, like how it's already rigged up, that should be perfect as is. So this should not be much to install. You guys. You guys. So I just gotta, oh yeah, come on. Oh, it's so stiff. So stiff and hard. This tube is so long and stiff and hard. <laughs> I'll stop. All right, so then do we have any extra Molex ones? No. Oh, we do have there. So let's undo this. Remove the plastic because we don't really need that. It's cheap enough that if I don't return it, I'll just keep it. All right. Okay, we're installed. We're plugged in. We're good. The drain is turned off. All right. Now we need to get some water. Hi. Hi. Put some water in here. If you remember this loop, make sure you, if you're if you're newer to the channel, make sure you check it out. Hey, look. Uh, make sure you check out the uh, the video where I actually uh, had this filled up with chocolate milk because I think everyone will find that equally entertaining and disgusting. What do you think, buddy? No leak so far, pal. Oop. No leaks? Okay, cat, you're blocking the shot. So I just... Okay. It's noisy. Oh shit, I overfilled it. Hold on. 
Hold on. So the pump is loud still, probably because it's still chock full of chocolate milk. Ah! Okay, but let's take a look at the readings. Well, you guys, a pretty simple product. Um, might I say it's actually kind of decent looking too. It's not as uh, off-putting as maybe I had originally thought it might be. Um, but yeah, it's not bad looking at all by any means. Um, it's pretty subtle and the lighting on it is pretty dim. So you, it's not like the brightest stuff. It doesn't seem like it has a whole lot of stuff you can do with it as far as uh, you know, changing or editing stuff. Under 60 bucks they paid for this thing at the time of purchase. And uh, I mean, overall, it's it's not crazy cool. It's not uncool, but I guess we'll see how long it works. I think I'll just keep it and just kind of see uh, <laughs> um, how long it lasts. Um, other than that, you guys, thanks for watching, hanging out with me, and uh, I'll make another video when I install it in the uh, server computer because maybe that, that I think that either the server computer or my main rig and kind of see how they look in there and stuff. So. Other than that, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out watching with me in a little short little water cooling video for you guys. So, um, yeah, we'll get we'll get in, into more some water cooling stuff here. Uh, Got to probably do some loop maintenance and stuff like that in the future here anyway. So, um, we'll see where we're at. Otherwise, take it easy, be well, and uh, I guess stay tuned to the channel and subscribe if you want to see this thing somewhat fail or something sometime and see how long it lasts. At least it's not as annoying as that Thermaltake one that actually has a stupid beep warning. Plus it didn't work.